G'day guys, and welcome to the November Trader 5 Keys to Successful Trading Series. My name is Reese, and over the course of this series, I'm gonna be running you through five of the key principles that you have to master in order to become a successful and profitable trader. Those are your trade plan, your risk management, your journaling, your analysis, so what you do with the data that you collect while you're journaling, and your psychology. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about your trade plan. I'll talk about why it's so important to have a trade plan, and then I'll show you how we can help you stick to a trade plan, which in my opinion can be one of the hardest things to do in trading. Right, so the first question you might be asking is, why even bother having a trade plan? And it's a fair question to ask. When I was a beginner trader, I thought trade plans were dumb. I saw it as a bunch of rules that I had to put in place to reduce the amount of trades that I could take, which would reduce the amount of money I could make. That was a terrible way to be thinking because I wasn't actually making money on my trades, I was losing. And so the more trades I took, the faster I lost money. When I did put a trade plan in place and I stuck to it, I found that I pretty quickly became consistently profitable. I also realized that I had massively reduced the stress that I've associated with trading. And a big reason for that was I had cut back on decision-making fatigue. Before I had a trade plan, I would look at every chart and I would basically just force trades. I would keep looking for reasons to enter. So if I couldn't see anything with support and resistance, I would look at trend lines. If I couldn't find it with trend lines, I would add indicators. If I couldn't find any indicators, I would add EMAs. Every single coin was a hundred different decisions that I had to think about. Once I had a trade plan, I could just run every coin through the conditions of my trade plan. Doesn't meet my rules. Yes, yes, no, on to the next coin. It massively sped up my charting process and massively reduced the amount of decisions I was making every day. The other thing I found was it aided my consistency. Because I was consistently entering and exiting for the same reasons, I was able to really refine what I was doing well and do more of that and what I was doing badly and eliminate that, which allowed me to improve. So by refining my trade plan, I actually ended up making more money for taking less trades. And who doesn't love getting more for less? Now, one of the downsides to a trade plan is it is only as good as the person sticking to it and that can be much easier said than done. I myself used to have a ton of trouble entering trades that were close enough. They would almost meet the rules of my trade plan and I would enter those trades because I wanted to feel productive. I wanted to feel like I was doing something. But what I was actually doing was breaking the rules of my trade plan. And this is where Vemma really shines. With Vemma, I can use entry conditions to essentially automate the rules of my trade plan, to enforce them for me. So one of my favorites is the operate on candle close condition. And what that does is it will only enter a trade if all my other conditions have been met and then we have a candle close that still satisfies those conditions. I'll often pair this with the minimum risk to reward condition. You can see here I've got a minimum risk to reward of two to one. Your minimum risk to reward, along with your win rate, is what actually defines you as a profitable trader. If you consistently take trades lower than your minimum risk to reward, you'll actually end up losing money in the long run. You can see if I set my minimum risk to reward to two to one, this trade would currently enter because we have it at a 3.39 to one. So if we've got a candle close here after all my other conditions had been met, then we would take this trade. If, however, we had a big bullish engulfing and we got a candle close way up here at a 1.67 to 1, Vemma would not take that trade. Because with Vemma, there's no such thing as close enough to a 2 to 1. Either my entry conditions were met and Vemma will enter, or they won't, and Vemma will not take this trade. It will enforce the rules of my trade plan for me. There you have it, guys. There's just two of the ways that Vemma Trader can help you stick to your trade plan, master those five keys of trading success, and massively speed up your journey to becoming a consistently profitable trader. Make sure you keep an eye out for the next video on risk management.